So you think we can uh, make some fuel from that, Hugo? I think we can. It'll take a lot of filtering. I'm just going to put this tube in the old fryer, the old uh, fryer fat storage tank here. We're going to pump out the fryer fat into the bucket, and uh, then we're going to take it and drive around on it. It was my dad who started it all. He introduced me to the two greatest loves of my life, French fries and fast cars. By the time I graduated from high school, I was ready to turn my passion for cars into a career. I went to the New College of South Florida in Sarasota, a very alternative university where they encouraged me to think outside the box. So far outside the box, in fact, they let me travel to Europe. I was working on a farm when I first saw a vegetable oil fuel called biodiesel being used. When I found out that inventor Rudolf Diesel actually invented the diesel engine to run on vegetable oil over a hundred years ago, I had to know more. I came back to the US and started studying oil. It turns out that the first commercial oil well in the United States was established in 1859 near Titusville, Pennsylvania. From there, it took us about 150 years to use half of the oil on planet Earth. But due to increased population and the resulting need for more oil, we will use the rest of the oil on the planet in less than 50 years. I bought a little diesel van and announced to my professors what I was going to do next. We came back in the fall and this Winnebago pulled up and students pile out and say we're going to run it off of grease from uh, franchise food places and we're going, oh that's great. I had my veggie van, but I still had to figure out how to make biodiesel fuel and it had to be cheap. I found that you can make biodiesel from any vegetable oil sunflower oil, soybean oil, or even canola oil. But my personal favorite was used French fry oil because it was free. I designed an automated sucking, pumping contraption called the green grease machine. This is the uh, guts of the green grease machine. I wanted to suck the fat out of the fryers of America and turn it into clean biodiesel fuel. Making biodiesel is an extremely safe and scientific process. To make the fuel, we used a vegetable oil, an alcohol called methanol, and the white powdery substance called lye. We mixed the ingredients together with a high-tech boat motor and let them settle overnight. You bring the French fries, but keep the ketchup on the side. I'll bring the methanol. 3.5 grams of lye, and by tomorrow, we'll have alternative fuel. And by tomorrow, we'll have alternative fuel. Had our fingers crossed all night, so this is the unveiling of whatever's in the pot. Ooh. Still warm. Green biodiesel. The other day I met a man. How are you doing? Taking a trip all across the land. He's got a car that runs on grease. A side of fries and a burger, please. Won't be long till you're a fan Taking a trip in the veggie van 
in the next few weeks, if you're out and about, you may be spotting an unusual multicolored vehicle on the roadway identifying itself as the vengeful. From NBC News, this is Today with Katie Curry and Matt Lauer. Every week here on Today, Leonard's Look gives our Mike Leonard a chance to examine a little piece of Americana. This morning, it's about what you have left after a meal of fast food. In a word, it's about Greece. Greece? Greece. Oceans of Greece. It's shocking. There's so much of it. Think of the synergy. A nation's craving for fast food and fast cars all boils down to a flowered van that smells like a french fry. Burns fuel 75% cleaner than diesel or gasoline and it smells like french fries. We're going to talk with them and take a ride in the van, the veggie van. Hey guys, Jim Naylor at uh, K High Radio calling. I got one of your little yellow flyer things here, and uh, I was wondering, what is this all about? How do we do that? What's going on? Uh, yeah, um, I was thinking maybe you guys want to come on the show for a few minutes and talk about it. I don't have to depend on you anymore. And I don't have to give you my support. You don't have to go drill that tundra for me Cause I'm disengaging, I'm separating from the oil company And now I got a diesel, biodiesel, I got a biodiesel It's about that oil that our government keeps waging these sickly wars. And I filled up my tank so many times I start to feel cool. How much I spend it, how I depend it on that polluted fossil fuel. I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to get a call back because I'm not a member of the media, but I am extremely interested in this uh, green grease machine. We'll actually pull up to the back of a fast food restaurant, and with that heat resistant hose, we can actually suck the fryer oil from the fryer. <laughs> Do you use long gun silver salt oil? Yeah, we sure do. <laughs> That's excellent. Do you, do you don't know that you're supposed to stay in the two right-hand lanes? In, uh, we've traveled 9,000 miles and gone to every city in this country just about. And Still not exempt from the traffic at all. I, I realize that. We've had no problems being in the car full lanes, certainly. Thank you. You're the first officer to give the veggie van a ticket on its cross-country tour. And you're coming from Florida? Florida. from the Jeremy Cordo show at Radio 5 DM in Adelaide. I'm not quite sure where in America you are. How many milk do you get in a gallon? It's about 20. Really? That's good. Good. I think it's the best possible idea. 
um, because, well, that in, in combination with all the wonderful literature you put out, because it's there, people can see it, and it works, and, and you're a testimonial, you've driven all over. You think you like it too? Done 25,000 miles in the veggie van on used frying oil. After two and a half years on the road, I headed home to write my first book. The Veggie Van Voyage proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that biodiesel is an incredible energy source. Biodiesel is a flexible fuel that can power our nation's transportation fleets of trucks, buses, boats, and planes. Combined with crops that produce more than a thousand gallons of vegetable oil per acre and new diesel vehicles that get over 200 miles per gallon, biodiesel has the potential to reduce and to possibly eliminate our nation's dependence on foreign oil forever. Hello? Hi, it's Joshua Tickell. Yes. So, okay, you must, that must have been you that had there was a story or an article or something in Mother Earth magazine. Right, and I wanted to make sure somebody got back to you. They did, and I wanted to be got back to <laughs> I love driving a big old Dodge van. I'm big, I'm old, I'm grandma, and I like to be able to haul my young ones. There is so much that we are not doing, and I know that the technology and the knowledge is here. Why is it we can't seem to break through and use some of these things? Well, that's a good question. We're doing our best on this end. Why don't I get your name and where you're from, and I'll get you on our mailing list if you wouldn't mind. My name is Hampi, H-A-M-P-I-E.